Hey guys, CJ over here. Uh, I'm back with another video. So on this video, I'm going to be talking about our rent prices going down in Ho Chi Minh City. Um, so I'm going to be reading this article from uh, Vietnam News, uh, which is my go-to guide when it comes to keeping myself updated. Uh, when it comes when it comes to the updated Vietnamese news. Um, so for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, uh, my name is Su Joy. Uh, I've been living here in Vietnam for over five years. I was an English teacher for three and a half years. And then I started my digital market marketing online business. And right now I do full-time YouTubing. Uh, so if you are new to my channel, uh, welcome to my channel. So before I continue, let me just... Uh, hydrate my throat a bit all right so I'm going to read this article from uh, Vietnam news um, the article is titled rental prices for townhouses in downtown Ho Chi Minh City continue to decline so I'm um, going to read this article so this is from Ho Chi Minh City uh, rental prices for townhouses in downtown Ho Chi Minh City continue to slide due to slowing economic growth so far this year, experts say. Now, I don't completely agree with the statement because the economy of Vietnam is doing well, and I'm going to be coming up with, our, with that article um, again from Vietnam News. Um, so I'll, I'll come, I'll come, I will be talking about that uh, on my next video. So let me just continue this over here, this article. Uh, prices have plummeted by over 30% as many businesses in the city center have been forced to close down due to poor business operation, leaving landlords with no choice but to accept lower prices in order to attract tenants. All right, so townhouses, let me just explain you what, what do I mean by townhouses. Like if you're in Ho Chi Minh City, you'll find these narrow, tall buildings, like they're stacked one floor above each other, above on top of each other. So these are basically townhouses, okay? These are kind of narrow buildings. And, you know, like if you're, if you're crossing, if you're going by, if you're crossing a bridge, if you're, uh, you know, you'll come across many townhouses, you know, uh, which are like uh, next to each other. These are like narrow buildings. Um, and they're, they're like they have like four or five floors. Um, you can either like you know people stay there, or you know there could be um, you know there usually there are there's a shop downstairs or there's a business center uh, on the ground floor, and then on top of it you know you can rent uh, you can rent an, uh, you can rent an apartment over there. Uh, I remember I used to stay in a townhouse for a year. Uh, I believe that was in Bintan district and you know the ground floor there was a, there was an IT office and on top there were like uh, I, I believe five floors and I used to live on the second floor so it was like a studio apartment. Um, all right so let me just continue uh, with this article. Uh, I don't want to name anyone concerned in this article so I'm just going to keep it very confidential. Uh, so you can check it out from the article I'll keep the link down in the description below. So, um, so there has been rental prices for spa salon uh, space for uh, nearly uh, 100 million Vietnam dong per month, and which has now come down to 65 million uh, Vietnam uh, uh, 65 million Vietnam dong per month. A number of streets in downtown areas such as uh, Lai Tu Tru Chung, um, Hai Ba Chung. Uh, Chung Din and Nugin Tri Street. So apologies, I'm not very good with um, Vietnamese pronunciation, but um, you know, um, you can, if you are a Vietnamese person, <clears throat> I'm understand. I, I'm pretty sure you will come to understand uh, about these streets, about these districts when you go through the article, um, which were previously bustling with businesses such as hair salons, uh, fashion stores. So now they remain vacant. Demand for rental properties in the central area of the country's largest city 
has decreased by 6% uh, due to challenging economic conditions. According to a survey by rental estate firm uh, Savilis, Savils, rental prices for townhouses on central streets in the city have expressed an average annual decline of 8% since 2019. The total leased area in the city center has reached its lowest figure since the fourth quarter of 2022. So as a result, landlords have been forced to offer price reductions of 20% to 30% to attract tenants. Um, let me just go to the juicy part. Uh, a real estate broker in District 7 told Vietnam News on the phone, the future of the rental market in downtown Ho Chi Minh City remains uncertain. As business continue to struggle and consumer behavior continues to evolve, it is uncertain when or if rental prices will bounce back to pre-pandemic levels. So in the meantime, both landlords and tenants must adapt to the current circumstances and work together to find mutually beneficial solution. Okay, so let me just add on over here is that, um, say, you know, if you're having, um, you know, you're an expat and, you, you know, you want to set up a business, um, a physical business over here in Vietnam and have a physical office, I think now is the time. Okay, now is the time if you want to, if you want to set it up in Ho Chi Minh City, which is the business district. Um, you know, I I encourage uh, most startup companies here in Vietnam to <clears throat> to start renting to start renting these townhouses uh, for uh, for your business operations because you're going to be helping out uh, the landlords. You know, uh, because these are kind of trying times. It's not only in Vietnam, but it's also globally. Uh, there is a misconception that people think that okay, only Vietnam's economy is uh, is uh, right now uh, slumping. No, it's all over the world. It's happening globally. So, um, <clears throat> so landlords may need to consider offering more flexible lease terms or additional amenities to attract tenants. While tenants must be realistic about the uh, budget constraints. Now, I remember when I used to stay in Bintan district for a year, I used to stay in a townhouse. Uh, my landlord, she was from Hanoi, an, ex an, an amazing woman, a very nice, genuine lady. Um, so basically what I had to do was that I had to uh, pay, I had to pay one month advance. I had to pay one month dep deposit and I had to sign a six months um, lease contract. Because, um, you know, if I try to, <clears throat> so if I try to terminate the contract, then, you know, I may not be able to get back my deposit money. So um, I had signed a six months lease agreement. Uh, correct me. Uh, I don't know what it is right now. Is it a one year lease you go to sign or can you sign a six months agreement? I usually like to go for a six months because uh, the nature of my uh, the nature of my lifestyle. I like to travel around. Um, you know, I like to travel around in Southeast Asia. So maybe you know, I may be going to uh, Thailand. You know, um, after a couple of months, and I may be staying in Thailand for a couple of months, uh, or in other parts of Southeast Asia. So I, I don't like to bound myself uh, with a yearly contract. So I mean, that is the nature of my lifestyle. So it depends for different expats for different. If you're a business owner, um, you know, you can, you will have different terms and conditions, you know. So, uh, I mean, it's a great time for, for all business owners, startups, or if you're looking for renting an apartment in Ho Chi Minh City, this is the best time to look into these townhouses because the rent prices are going down. Uh, so both landlords and tenants should navigate through these challenging times and find success in the ever-changing real estate landscape. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to leave a description of this. I'm going to leave a link of this article down in the description below. Uh, you can check out this article. Um, you know, I, I just want to help out uh, these landlords, you know, who are having these tenant homes. 
Um, so you know, if you're having a uh, if you're having a startup business, or um, you know, you will start. I mean, or if you would like to rent in Ho Chi Minh City, uh, you should definitely check out these townhouses, and especially in those districts which I have actually mentioned in this on this video. Um, you know, just go and you know, just just help out, uh, just help out the business, just help out these landlords. Uh, because yes, these are challenging times. It's not only in Vietnam, but it's also globally uh, because of the uh, the Ukraine war. And I'm, and I'm also afraid um, because of the new escalating war, which is happening between Israel and uh, which is happening in Israel. Okay. So um, yeah, so these are challenging times. Okay. So if you like watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're traveling around in Southeast Asia, make sure to check out uh, the link down in the description below. You want to, if you want to earn passive income and you want to start an automated successful online business, I'll keep a link down uh, in the description below. It's an exclusive access to a free webinar invite and I highly recommend you check it out. And also you can support me uh, on PayPal if you like my content. Okay, so with that being said, you guys have a great day. This was me, Sue Joy. Peace out.